So most large VSDs in this day and age, or rather all large VSDs in this day and age need to be closed by surgery. We do not have device closure for the most common type of ventricular receptor defect and that is the perimembranous ventricular receptor defect or also called the membranous ventricular receptor defect. We don't intend closing them with a device at this stage where science is as of today and we don't anticipate in the near future we would be closing large perimembranous defects in small babies with a device. We don't anticipate that to happen in the near future also. The only defects we look forward to closing with device are small to moderate membranous defects with special devices which are still experimental or small to moderate to large muscular defects in slightly older child who are at least 5 to 7 kilos in weight if not more. So this is the spectrum of age, weight and range and type of VSD which need to be closed with a device or via surgery. Practically speaking, almost all VSDs need surgical closure as of today. There is one exception to it and that is uh, multiple muscular VSDs. Multiple muscular VSDs need a two-stage surgery unlike all other VSDs. So we need to do first a pulmonary artery banding so that the child can continue to grow. By that time, some of those multiple defects would end up closing and once they end up closing, we are left with few which we can close with the device via operation or without operation and remove the banding at that stage.